we're going to address a very important topic. We're going to talk about being a disciple of Jesus Christ. So we're going to talk about what it means to be a disciple, uh, what is the process involved of becoming a disciple, of growing into a disciple, and what are the fruits, the outcomes, uh, the evidence of somebody being a disciple. When Jesus gave the Great Commission in Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20, so he said, go and make disciples. Right? Not just believers, not just church attenders, uh, not just get them into your, you know, uh, your congregation. No. Go make disciples. So when he says go and make disciples, he says go and get people to commit to becoming a disciple by enrolling into a process by which they're going to learn, which will transform them into becoming disciples. So, disciple, what does it mean? What, 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 what does it entail? A disciple is somebody who's committed to this process of becoming like his teacher or his master. So as a disciple of Jesus Christ, you and I, have committed to this process of becoming like Jesus. And Jesus said, it is sufficient. It's enough. I'm not asking anything more. It's enough for a disciple that he be like his teacher or his master. So really, disciples are imitators of their teacher. So we are learners and followers of Jesus committed to being like him. So we committed to understanding his heart, to knowing his mind, living for his purposes, uh, living life the way he wants us to live and doing uh, uh, the works he wants us to do. That's a disciple. And you know, a time will come when people will say, I see Jesus in you. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because you are a disciple. And that's a good thing. That you are being so transformed to be like your master, your teacher. That people say, hey, I see Jesus in you. One reason why the eternal word became the son of God. Is so that the sons of God will know what they should really look like. They should look like their elder brother. So in this introductory message, I want to just touch on a few side notes. One of them is, you know, what discipleship is not. Number one is, a discipleship is not following a set of do's and don'ts. When the Bible talks about being a disciple, it's talking about you, the person inside the clothes, being changed into the image of Jesus Christ. That's more important. And of course, it will come out in the way you conduct yourself. And that, we will leave the choice to you. Because once you decide to be like Jesus, he'll tell you what to do. We don't have to dictate that. Secondly, what discipleship is not, is not selective adherence. It's not like, you know, Jesus gave us these 100 things and says, okay, you pick what you want, it's enough. No. Discipleship is 100% commitment. It's immersion. You're all in. It's 100% commitment to becoming like Jesus, head to toe, spirit, soul, body, amen. And lastly, uh, discipleship is not a retainer program of the local church. The local church exists to help you in your journey of discipleship. We are not here to force you to commit to the church, no. We are here to help you, assist you. But you are on a journey. Your journey is to become like some of the challenges you and I will face, the hindrances uh, that we will face, of course, first is, uh, I have no time for this. Secondly, is an overload of information. Thirdly, the superficiality that we see. And lastly, there is, of course, the pull of worldliness. So we push past these things. It may seem so difficult that, that God could take your life and transform it into the likeness of a son, Jesus. But that's why he's God. That's why he's God. He can do it for any person. In anyone's life, he can do it. We just have to say, Lord, I'm willing. I want you to work in me. And he will do the work, transforming us to becoming like
Jesus Christ.